We're cooking on a lane. We'll be hanging out with Gene Culberson the third. He's got a brand new Lang 60 with a char grill on the front. And he's going to be cooking his whole hog, the first cook ever done on his Lang barbecue smoker. Boy, these Langs are some fantastic smokers. They're all set cookers. And started it off with a few hamburgers. Of course, we had to eat on Friday night. Looked like about 30 people fell out. There's Pop right there. That's Gene's father-in-law. And he cooked a whole bunch of hamburgers. They turned out really good. Backwoods Barbecue. They're the ones that's going to be cooking this evening. Gene Culberson III. They just got their hog and they're getting it ready. That's Gene right there in the green shirt. And we're getting ready to throw down Backwoods Barbecue. Getting ready to roll it out. Let's hear a little word from Gene. And we're going to get right on into this whole hog prep. World Championship Competition. Bunch of cooks out here gonna cook up whole hog. We're gonna work on these uh, shoulders there. Uh huh. Try to get. I want to be able to get to the meat. Get my rub on it. How many pound hog is it? Uh, he had 140 pounds on here, but that was with the head and the and the legs. So I reckon. What, 15, 20 pounds off, and probably 120 pound off. That's about 7.30 p.m. Uh, what time do you expect to put it on the cooker? Uh, I'm hoping anywhere from 9 to 9.30. Uh, okay. Put it on after we, after we inject it. Big old hams there, ain't it? That's a big old ham. What kind of cooker are you going to be uh, putting the hog on tonight? I went down to the Hunter, Georgia, Tuesday, picked up a new lane, got with Ben, and uh, picked up a little 60 uh, with the reverse flow. Got the char grill on the front. We actually got some burgers going on there right now. We're gonna have some burgers and fries. Actually going to uh, Okay, you're gonna get down to the shoulder, down to the Yeah, I'm on the uh, Boston button to pick it. We're gonna get it here on the, the third rib, cut it down, so I can uh, get into that shoulder. Try to get some rub in there a little bit. Big old bone in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do get in there and get a little rub on that shoulder. Which I'll cut the skin off the top side of it. Make it look pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little rub on it. Oh, okay. Well, that hey, fine. that's gonna be the grand champion pig right here tomorrow, Thank buddy. You.
I'm just trying to get in there a little bit there, I'm trying to get to that old lawn. I don't want to get in there too much so it dried out. Can't get no flavor to it though if it's covered up that deep. That's right. Take this thing out there. We'll get through trimming it up a little bit. We'll take it out there and wash it off with no bone dust off of it. So that below the ribs there, that's the bacon on the outside go. of the ribs. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it just a little bit and throw a little rub on it. I don't wanna get too deep in there. Break the skin. Just trying to get a little flavor under there. Blowing up like a balloon. <laughs> Went down, got a good shot of Strom in downtown Edge, Edgefield just a little bit ago. Good. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that blowing on up. Anyway, I was picking the TV. Yeah, we I was dead I don't up in Instead of putting it in a bag, you're gonna wrap it around in the bag. Yeah, we're just gonna let, let, let it soak in just a little bit. Just. Something about plastic makes it soak in better, don't it? Uh, it's really not that warm out here, so it'll be fine out here for just a little bit. What do you think, Gene? Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> Come 
we're gonna rock and roll with it. Give me that. Oh. Do a little double rub. Yeah, hit it again, let it soak in there. So it look good there. It does. Make it good. All right, Trevor, let's see if we can slide her on there. Pull that tape away right there. That's the thing, man. Look. You need to pull back what? over. You need to come back this way. Roll it down. See the hammer right there? Right yeah, it's hot, yeah. man. The hammer's hot. Let me go. Uh, Roll your hog back, put that in back over that way. And then pick it up and set it in now. You ready? Yeah, I got the handle. Yeah. That's in there. We put the hams in there first. There we'll cook it for a while and then we'll rotate it around. Okay, you got the hams closest to the heat. Yeah. Okay. About 20, 25 degrees warm on that box. All right. All right, that's a 60 inch brand new Lang smoker. It's really in the big box. That's the first thing you've ever cooked in the gym. It is. Just picked it up Tuesday and we'll crank this thing up about five hours early and just let it run. You can't do any better than cooking a whole hog to start off a cooker, can you? Exactly right. Backwood barbecue. Okay, it's probably about 8.20, 8.30. Saturday morning. Sometimes. 167, 168. It's coming. What you looking for? About a 180? Yeah. It's coming right away like this. No, I just left it like it was. Let it be. Let it be. Man, look at beautiful down in there. Oh, look at that pretty color. My goodness, you cooked that thing good. Put a little tin foil on it, hold that moisture in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. That thing's cooked to perfection. That's a Lang 60, folks. 120 pound hog on. Well, what's the plan to let it get up to 160? Just let it cook for another hour? Yeah, we're going to let it come on up. And we'll start pulling a little bit of meat off. Man, brand new firebox on the lane. There's no better picture than that. I love shooting that. 
all that paint, then you got the contrast of the fire in there. There you go. Look by by lane. Y'all doing okay this morning? Oh yeah, we're so tired. Big old hunk of barbecue right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a big sandwich bun. Priest and Nick come out with a big old handful on it. Got some nice bark on it, man. Got some smoke rain to it. Man, we can do it. <laughs> he's got his head down, yeah, he's yeah, working he's, on it. He's working on it. We're cooking on a land.